When we were planning out the route to test out these new carbon all-road bikes, I wanted to focus on something that was both gravel and pavement oriented. And so Dirty Lemon encompasses 50-50 dirt and pavement with us climbing up the dirt side and then descending on the pavement, so. I mean, Mount Lemon is definitely a pretty uh, gnarly climb and people come uh, from all around America and I think the world to to go do Mount Lemon. So. And uh, we're not just doing a gnarly Mount Lemon, we're doing the dirty Mount Lemon. Good day. Good day of exercise, yeah. when you say. Yeah, a long day. I will say. I like the fact I've only done the dirty side of Mount Lemon now, and not the not the clean side, because it just shows how hardcore I am. Yeah, and, and I will say, having done the the clean side, the dirty side is, is much harder uh, and much more technical. Oh my god! And much gnarlier <laughs> of a of a climb. Uh, so having carbon bikes versus aluminum bikes was a game changer for definitely this segment because. That road was just so so gnarly, yeah. so gnarly. So going up, it's jarring, but then you'd have like these rollers on the climb. So you're going uphill on this ridiculous climb uh, where you have to pick your line everywhere. And then you have a little bit of a downhill where you also had to pick your line. So having, having the carbon and the ability to have it kind of absorb some of that road feedback, if that's the right terminage. So that's what say it did for us. So I double dog dare anyone to do the uh, the segment for this route link in bio. And uh, I challenge you to do it on a gravel bike, have fun with it, and um, try to beat our FKT. And that's the bottom line. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>